Hey, what's up? It's Taka here. Welcome back to my weekly vlog. And I'd like to share what i done this week. Um, I worked on, to, worked on improving the revision history view. Uh, that's for uh, viewing the, your older uh, changes. Uh, let me show you. Uh, it's, so I worked on the mobile version. And uh, let's say you have a note like this, and you edit it. Uh, you can see, as you can see, uh, 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 you can view the revision history like git diff, and it's useful uh, to view the all the changes. And you can also select the diff, so you can. Uh, restore the, all the changes quickly without without overriding overwriting uh, entire note. You can also uh, restore the all the revision, uh, but it's not implemented yet. And those revisions are for uh, to for those uh, re revisions are the changes to other fields like uh, title and um, created date, update date, uh, tags, and node status, and so on. And it's just not implemented yet. It's coming soon. Oh, okay. <clears throat> so here is the note for implementing this feature. Yeah, it's cool. I like it. And uh, yeah, so the I worked on desk desktop version as well. Uh, it's a, a UI improvement UI improvement for the note list view. And here is the note list, and the the uh, this there are a, a, a last note update date uh, on the note list, and uh, it's bit. Uh, displayed as a uh, relative date time in the current version, but uh, it's useful. It's usually useful for uh, viewing the uh, relatively new notes. And um, but if if the notes are older, uh, like uh, a year or two years, and uh, it's not useful to see the relative date time. So I decided to change the behavior to display the date time uh, as absolute date. So you can quickly understand when they are updated. So it's useful. I also implemented it uh, on the, to the, for the mobile version. Also, I've updated, uh, updated the Vim plugin to add the uh, uh, a simple, a small feature. So let me dem let me show you a demo. So it's a uh, it's for uh, a focus focus uh, update. So you can uh, move back to the title view from the editor by pressing just K. So K is for move up. So you can you can simply. Uh, jump to the note title it's handy but but i found that it's sometimes annoying because uh, you don't know uh, where you are and you accidentally press k again and again and uh, insert uh, uh, k k k or j so may maybe it's uh, uh, yeah an also annoying for some people and uh, I, I, maybe I'll be removing this feature. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's better than. Mm, it's a personal preference. Okay, and I've fixed a small bug that uh, uh, you can't open uh, user style style sheet from preferences like. Uh, like here so you can see as you can see it has a, a button for opening user style sheet file but uh, if you don't have a, a style.less file uh, you can't 
open it. It's a bug. And I fixed it. So thank you for uh, reporting, Franco. Um, the, yeah. Uh, for mobile version, I fixed a, fixed a significant bug. Bug that uh, our right script, right scroll bar shifted to left un unexpectedly. So it's annoying. Uh, it happens when you switch from switch to other app and back. Uh, you get uh, a wrong scroll bar wrong position, and it's because uh, uh, it's it happens on on the iOS uh, because the the iOS uh, automatically fixes the the scroll position, but it works uh, it works unexpectedly, and I I managed to find a workaround. Uh, that is to add uh, automatically adjust scroll indicator in sets, uh, set it, set it to false, and that maybe it works. And next, uh, I did uh, uh, some chores, and this is uh, uh, I prepared for the tax report for 2022, and it's almost done. Uh, the revenue from the app increased to hope forward in 2022. That is awesome. But I got uh, uh, a big issue. Uh, that is uh, this next section. Uh, next topic. Uh, I'd like to discuss uh, customer education and customer success in Inkshop. Uh, because the churn rate, as you can see, churn rate is uh, very high. <laughs> and you must, I must stop the breeding. Uh, so this graph, uh, this diagram with uh, uh, active customers. Uh, in summer, uh, I got I got a bunch of uh, new customers, and thanks to the success of uh, my YouTube channel, but uh, it 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 stops uh, growing and gradually uh, uh, decreasing. The number the number of uh, paid customers uh, is uh, gradually decreasing so this is uh, so this is bad and so I drag, uh, I want to stop and I want to lower the uh, charm rate I want to I want to fix the charm rate and that's uh, probably because uh, people from my YouTube channel are uh, uh, as relatively uh, relatively beginner uh, I don't know I don't know how to say uh, it's uh, it's like a, not advanced so advanced users so I, I'm not so advanced uh, programmers so you don't people don't know how to use inkshop uh, people even don't know uh, what's markdown and uh, so that's the problem, I, I guess, and because I I, de I designed Inkdrop for I designed Inkdrop for uh, those who already know Markdown, and I was assuming that people can understand how to use it, and that was uh, wrong. Uh, that that is wrong uh, at the moment. So I have to uh, teach the. The customers or uh, a trying user, trial users, uh, how to use Inkshop, and uh, customer education is for is a content designed to onboard, engage, and retain your new and existing customers. That's delivered in a program programmatic fashion. Uh, so it means that you tell how to use your product. Uh, that's simple, and and it makes sense. And the customer success is uh, about uh, anticipating customer challenges or questions and uh, proactively uh, providing solutions and answers. So that means that uh, you have to provide uh, resources for understanding your product deeply, and and to help help the help them uh, accomplishing their goals uh, by your product. And that's important. So I'd like to do that, do them. 
Uh, I should assume that people don't know even what's Markdown. I tell them how to use it carefully, co correctly, and carefully. So I'd like to consider how to do that. And uh, I came up uh, three plans. Uh, one, need, the first is uh, first is uh, to improve the documentation, and because uh, my English is <laughs> English is often broken, so they should be corrected thoroughly. And uh, last year, uh, Dmitry uh, contributed uh, my documentation and to fix some my uh, uh, my grammar errors and that's that that was so helpful so i'd like to do it do it more and maybe i ask uh, him for doing it more um, this year as well uh, even it's it's okay to pay for pay him yeah uh, let me know if you are interested in doing uh, paid work for uh, improving the documentation and I'm happy to pay for you and uh, pay for it uh, yes and the second uh, the second idea is that uh, to start onboarding newsletter uh, which means that you you sign up and uh, you get a, a newsletter uh, that's that explains how to use uh, the product and you get uh, uh, you get emails uh, weekly, daily, or uh, uh, I don't know, uh, but it depends on it depends on the product. But uh, you can understand uh, uh, how to use it uh, without reading the uh, documentation. So that's that's useful uh, for some people. I hate to reading emails for uh, emails like that, but uh, I need to try it. Yes, so I I mm, uh, checked out uh, some products that uh, doing the onboarding newsletter. Uh, for example, uh, Craft is uh, uh, one of the popular note note app for creators, and uh, they using they are using uh, Sending Brew, uh, which is for uh, digital marketing tools, uh, especially for emails. So this is the the what what they send me to understand their products. I, I don't read them carefully yet, <laughs> but, but it's it, it it's interesting to read. Uh, so the first email is welcome, and the second is when to use craft and the four ways craft to end, blah blah blah. So yeah, it's interesting. Uh, so I'd like to do that uh, sim similar way in a similar way. Yes. And I'd like to, so so I'd like to let uh, ask for uh, someone to do that to to create a newsletter, uh, because it's it's good for good. Uh, I I guess it would be nice to uh, let someone else to do that uh, instead of me, because they they are not the author of the app, and so you can. Uh, you can tell other people uh, how to do that, how to use it, uh, sub subject, objective perspective. Yeah, so it's it's it will be nice to try it. And uh, the last one is to build uh, build the user community, build a user community, a user community, <laughs> user community. It, it's uh, it's not just a user support forum. But uh, it's uh, for uh, communicating the users each other, uh, for to inspire them. Them, uh, I think it's fun to share. Uh, so the, the idea is to share uh, your notes uh, to other users, and uh, that, that's that's interesting to that's interesting because uh, you can see uh, how they how they take notes for learning technologies uh, just like I, what I did in the last video and so it, you can inspire uh, you can inspire e each other you can you can inspire others and you can get inspired but from others uh, that's that would be awesome so I'd like to build a build a press to uh to learn it to learn uh, people together to to learn technology together uh, so you can so this is a place uh, that you can 
uh, post their notes, post your notes selectively from the app. And you can view the shared notes and you can leave comments, discuss and ask questions. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm planning to use this course. Uh, it's uh, based on it's that uh, uh, the user forum uses because I know uh, their, th this uh, API to accomplish uh, this community. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so uh, I'm, I was researching the techno tech communities uh, like Elsa Speak Global Community. It's, uh, it's on uh, Facebook, but the people are uh, enjoying to share their progress like this. So they got uh, how much their English speaking skills is uh, improved. And uh, people are very warm and uh, positive. Also, uh, they, they post like something like this to find friends. And uh, they are doing like some uh, self introduction. Yeah. And I recently joined a Japanese tech, tech, tech community uh, called Engineer to Jinsei. It's a paid community for tech people in, in Japan and uh, being run by uh, an, a famous uh, iOS engineer, uh, Tsutsumi-san. Uh, so you can see how it looks like uh, by reading a blog post written by uh, one of the members. members. Uh, he's Hawachin san. Uh, uh, what's interesting is that uh, uh, they have a culture called Times, and the Times is uh, like uh, doing Twitter on Slack. Uh, so, in the community, in the community, you get your own channel named like Times. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm this. So Times underscore uh, your name, uh, like like that. So. You have uh, your own timeline on the, on this channel, and you can uh, tweet what you are doing, uh, what you think uh, uh, at the moment, and people people subscribe to your channel and uh, uh, react sometimes to your post randomly. Uh, this is so interesting because uh, I've never seen this uh, something uh, this such a such a culture in other communities for English speakers. Uh, they, they are mostly like uh, 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 there are uh, some influencers and in that they have uh, their own community. So it, it's like uh, uh, so it's it's like uh, uh, inf there are influencers and the audience like something like that. So you have uh, uh, like uh, uh, one one way connections and sometimes the audience themselves connect each other but they, those are uh, basically optional but the, the this at uh, times com community uh, you can con they, there are no main main pillar pillar <laughs> existence uh, and uh, you you connect to the uh, the, the Japanese community is for uh, this Japanese uh, uh, the times culture helps uh, you connect uh, with other other members so it's like a web uh, web sh shaped so you can find uh, friends you can get uh, help and uh, you can you can tell you uh, what, what your thoughts and what you learned and that's Awesome and inter interesting, and I, I've tried. I'd like to try it in in Kujok. Yes, and so I'd like to build a community in uh, not not a chat chat server, but it's it's uh, as a forum because I hate chatting. <laughs> it's distracting. So uh, yeah, but. but uh, uh, it would be nice to have a forum, another forum for connecting each other, right? Uh, so I'm planning to do that this year. Uh, maybe it's necessary to hire a community manager. So uh, let me know if you are interested in doing that. Uh, 
uh, yes. So 2022 is was for uh, attracting new users to Inkjob, and this year 2023 is for pleasing the existing users. And I'd like to leverage my product for your uh, learning and uh, doing your work. Yes. So that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, have a productive day.